My dear friends, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your consent in the presence of the church's minister in this community. Christ abundantly blesses your love. He's already consecrated you in a special sacrament in baptism. And now he enriches and strengthens you in the sacrament of marriage so that you may assume the duties in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so, in the presence of this community, I ask you to state your intentions. Okay. <laughs> Phoebe and Alexis, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in Christian marriage? Yes. Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? We will. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? We will. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, turn and face each other, join your hands, and declare your consent before God and his church. Welcome to all of you to Our Lady Help a Christian Roman Catholic Church as we gather this evening for a sacrament that has been since the very beginning of the human race. Brothers and sisters, these two have prepared well for this evening, and it is wonderful to have so many of you here, their family and friends, to celebrate this moment with us. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness, pour out your grace on these, your servants, Colby and Alexis, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Love now becomes care and concern for the other. No longer is it self-seeking, a kind of sinking into an intoxication of happiness. Instead, it seeks the good of the beloved. It is part of love's growth toward higher levels and inward purification that it now seeks to become definitive, both in the sense of exclusivity, this particular person alone, and in the sense of being forever. Okay. <laughs> Love embraces the whole of existence. Okay. 
Kobe and Alexis. You are called by what you testify to this night in the presence of this community to live out care and concern for the other, to seek the good of your beloved, to grow toward higher levels of inward purification in the sense of this particular person alone, that is, the one seated next to you. And further, your consent which you're about to give is to be forever. Your love must embrace the whole of your existence. At the moment of your conceptions in your mother's womb, he placed an image on your hearts of the one for whom you were to search. And when you found a reality that mirrored that image, you were to do what you have done. You were to prepare yourselves to be joined as husband and wife in the sacrament of marriage. And so, I invite the two of you and your attendants to come forward so that you can profess your love in the presence of this community. I, Kobe, take you, Alexis, to be my wife. I, Alexis, take you, Kobe, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. Sickness and health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessing. What God has joined, no one may separate. Alexis, take the string. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Kobe, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. My dear friends, let us pray to the Lord for this bride and groom who come to the altar as they begin their married life, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, they may always be bound together by love for one another. In the union of husband and wife among your faithful, graciously stretch out your hand over these your servants, Colby and Alexis, and pour into their hearts the power of the Holy Spirit. Grant, O Lord, that as they enter upon this sacramental union, they may share with one another the gifts of your love, and by being for each other a sign of your presence, become one in heart and in mind. Graciously crown with your blessings your daughter, Alexis, so that by being a good wife and mother, she may bring warmth to her home with a love that is pure and adorn it with welcoming graciousness. Bestow a heavenly blessing also, O Lord, upon Kobe, your servant, so that he may be worthy, good, and faithful husband and a provident father. Grant, Holy Father, that desiring to approach your table as a couple joined in marriage in your presence, they may one day have the joy of taking part in your great banquet in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen.
made partakers at your table, we pray, O Lord, that those who are united by the sacrament of marriage may always hold fast to you and proclaim your love to the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May God, the Almighty Father, grant you joy and bless you and your children. Amen. May his only begotten Son stand by you with compassion in good times and in bad. Amen. May the Holy Spirit of God always pour forth his love into your hearts. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Colby and Alexis Fargo.